internal thoracic artery internal thoracic artery is also known as internal mammary artery here first rib this is second this is third fourth fifth sixth this is seventh and here is eighth this is ninth this is tenth this is first cast of cardi this is first cast of cardi is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh this is eighth this is ninth this is tenth this is scanless anterior muscle स्टूबर्स Scanless anterior. It divides subclavian artery into three parts. The first part is proximal to this, second part is deep to this, and distal part is third part. First part is branch, runs inferiorly. This is internal thoracic or internal mammary artery. It passes through first intercostal space, then second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. In sixth intercostal space, it divides into two branches. One is lateral branch. This is lateral branch, and this is vertical branch. These are two terminal branches. This branch is known as superior epigastric artery. Superior epigastric artery. And this branch is known as musculofemoral artery. This is musculofemoral artery. So these are two terminal branches: superior epigastric and musculofemoral artery. This superior epigastric artery it passes through the foramen, which is present here. This is known as foramen of Morgagni. This is foramen of Morgagni. It is formed between the two slips of the it from which uh, is present diaphragm. This is uh, sternal slip, and here is costal slip. Between sternal and costal slip. There is space. This is space in another foramen of Morgagni. So it passes through this foramen of Morgagni into anterior abdominal wall, into rectus sheath. In the rectus sheath, it enters with inferior epigastric artery. This is inferior epigastric artery.
and this. Here, one branch arises in upper part. This is known as pericardiophrenic artery. This is this is pericardiophrenic artery, which gives supply to the pericardium and mediastinal fibula. This artery accompanies with the phrenic nerve. It passes along with the phrenic nerve. This is phrenic nerve. In each intercostal spaces, it gives two anterior, these are two anterior intercostal arteries. There are two anterior intercostal arteries arise into each space. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth spaces. And here, these anterior intercostal artery arise from this musculophrenic artery. We have two in each space. So, in lower three spaces, that means in uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, seventh, eighth, ninth spaces, these anterior intercostal artery are branch of the musculophrenic artery. And the branches it gives here with the second, third and fourth spaces. Also from fifth and sixth spaces it gives branch known as Perforating arteries. Here, perforating artery. Second, third, and fourth perforating artery are larger in comparison to fifth and sixth perforating artery. These artery give supply to the breast and muscles of the tactile region. So these are the branches of the internal thoracic, internal thoracic artery or internal mammary artery. These branches here, these are anterior intercostal artery, these branches corresponds with posterior intercostal artery, there is posterior intercostal artery for a particular space. This posterior intercostal artery and it's most with this, with upper branch and its collateral branch has the most with the lower branch. You can see in another diagram here, suppose here is aorta, descending thoracic aorta, it gives branch, this is posterior intercostal artery, posterior intercostal artery, it gives its collateral branch, this is collateral branch. Here is an internal thoracic artery. This is internal thoracic artery. It gives two branches in each space. So this upper branch, the anterior intercostal artery, and as the most with the posterior intercostal artery of the same space here. And this collateral branch has the most with its lower branch, like this. So these are anastomosis between anterior intercostal and posterior intercostal artery and its collateral branches. This collateral is mostly inferior branch. One important, clinically uh, is very important, this artery can be used in case of coronary bypass surgery. So this is all about the internal thoracic artery. Thank you.